Hi all, my name is Jacob. I'm the training consultant in Zarn Tech. Today, we will learn about 4i principles in the MDG rule-based workflow. This is a quick and efficient way to implement the rule-based workflow in the MDG. The steps to implement this solution are as follows. Find out the PPOME object ID and object type. Get all the user IDs out of the PPOME object. Find out the original requester of the relevant MDD change request. Remove the user ID of the original requester out of the user ID list that was found in step two. The remaining user IDs back to the user agent group of the BADI method. As a prerequisite, please make sure that you have defined a service name for the RBW in the customizing. Let's learn how to do that in a step-by-step -step process. Step one, the service name should be given in the relevant steps in the RBW table, and it is possible to get the object type and ID defined by RBW out of this parameter. Step two, it can be executed with the help of the function module. Step three and four, the decision of the original requester can be done via the MDG change request API or directly via a selective statement on the table. Step five, moving the remaining user list except requesters to user ID into the target agent group parameters. With that, that would be all for today's video. I need to remind you though that Zarin Tech has been in the US market for 11 years providing SAP training and certification programs. We provide video and live online training programs with interactive lesson plans and content for you to clear your certification examination. For more information, check out the detailed article posted right below this video. And please, make sure to comment if this video has helped you or if you simply have any questions because we're always here to help. Thank you.